So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to finally, finally, let's move strength number 23. Because it has been such a long time, I made sure quite a couple of these tracks are tougher than they normally would be. Just for you to have a time again. Hey, it took so long because about two months ago, I broke my wrist, my left wrist. I really couldn't do too much uh, at all. Right now, I still can't do push-ups too well. Well, I can do it like on a bar, so I would try to do that today. And um, that's why I have a different triceps track, well, uh, different exercises during the triceps track, but you will notice uh, when we're there. For now, 23 is a great and powerful uh, uh, release and end um, in about a week, because I'm filming pretty much everything that I'm doing right now. In about a week, I will release how I make these classes and I hope I recorded everything the right way, otherwise I have to record it a different way, but I hope that I have everything set up such a way that you finally figure out like how I make these classes, what I do, and especially with the music and the sound, etc., etc., how I put everything together. Hope you're gonna enjoy that too, but for now, release number 23. Great energy, great power, have a great time. Great time. So obviously, not at all what you're expecting, but right here, I'm here at the warming up because one way or the other, the sound for the warming up got all mangled up and it was unusable completely. And if I didn't record it today, uh, I could only upload it after the weekend and that would, would take even longer <laughs> than you were expecting. So just for the warming up, I'm here in uh, my own house. Just grab the bubble, right aside your thighs, open up your chest, drag the shoulders down and back, and let's go for a single row to your knees and squeeze and knees and back. Yes, I don't have a lot of space here. I thought I had quite a lot of more space. I don't even know if I can do a shoulder press all the way down, up, but let's see, let's see. We'll figure it out. Let's do a triple row. Now, one, number two, number three, and rise up, let's do it again. A triple row, here we go. Perfect. All right, nice and strong and you're warming up. Let's go down, two and two. Here we go, down, down and slowly rise. All the way down to the knees. Reach your stuff and do, do shoulders down and away from those ears. You're gonna be fine this entire hour, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go for an upward row, three and one. So get up, 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 and down. Let's do it again. Ah. Okay, two more of these. And it's gonna be the last one after this last one. Onto your chest, that was under. Let's go for it. Single press towards the ceiling, go. Ah, I still have space. I don't know if I'm completely in frame, but I can reach this. Okay, so going up and down, all the way. Perfect. After the last one, let's go for up quick, down slow. So up quick, down slow. Let's do it again. So all the way up and slowly down. Let's do it two more times. Here we go. Perfect. After this last one, in the middle part of your neck, feet wide apart. Open up your chest and let's go down for two. Down. Down. Slowly rise. Yes, I have to improvise, so this is definitely not how my room is going to look after I give it a makeover because it is going to be a studio that I'm going to record more often. Three and one. Three, two, one, rise up. So probably without this, probably without this, but I've got some really cool things I'm gonna hang in this room to make it a cool room. <laughs> what? All right, single lunges, here we go. One foot back, one foot front, and drop the back knee down to the floor. Yes, your chest straight on top of your hip, and your hip straight on top of the back knee once it's down. Let's switch sides, let's do it again. Same for the other side. Raw. Perfect, drop it down and rise up again. Four, three. All right, let's go on for a couple more squats. Two and two, here we go. Yes, only three more to go. I'm pretty sure you're doing good. I'm pretty sure you're warming up as well. It's kind of warm here as well. You're good. All right, listen carefully. Over your body and then straight away to an underhand grip. An underhand grip. So your palms towards me. And then a slow roll down to the knees. And to your belly button. Back to the knees. All the way up. Twice as fast. Go. Ooh, yeah. Knees and squeeze, and all the way up again. Perfect. Everything we do one time, we most certainly can do three times. So watch this, triple row. Number one, number two, number three, right?
Rise up one more time. Ah, perfect. After this one, let's go on the biceps. Here we go. Up for two. Whoop. Up and slowly down. All the way up. Slowly down. You are nearly there. Keep going. Ooh, perfect. After this one, let's go up quick, down slow. So all the way up. Well, not all the way up. You keep some distance between the chest and your barbell. But you know this because I will tell you every time you do a bicep check. Ah, the very last one. Perfect. And that's it for the warming up. One big shoulder roll. Perfect. All right. Get rid of that barbell. No, don't get rid of it. Actually put more weight on it. At least twice the weight that you've got right now. So, yeah, something like that. Ah, so, um, it's a relatively long track, but because I tried it already with the people of, uh, well, a life class, we decided to have a couple of breaks. And you are gonna get a couple of breaks, but not here. You're gonna go to the other studio and have a good time there. And we decided to put three short breaks in it because they're kind of necessary. All right, meaty part of your neck, that's where you wanna start. Feet nice and wide apart, wider than the sit position. And let's go down in two. Down, down and slowly rise. Keep it going. All the way down, about 90 degrees in your legs, that should be fine. So going down and down and slowly rise. Keep on going. All the way. Just a little deeper. So push this please back and down. Yep. So all the way to the height of your own knees. If you have a mirror somewhere, check yourself, but don't drop down your chest too much. All right, let's get down super slow all the way. Four, so it's four, three, two, and if you're going down super slow, you should go up super slow as well. That should be an obvious rule, but it's not always that obvious. Super slow rise. All right, let's do it again. A little bit faster, three and one, because here I go again. For me, that's really the case. I'm going again in my own. The entire class. Let's do it one more time. And after this last one, let's hit it. Singles, go! <laughs> let's start it right. Keep on going. Gear up the squeeze nice and low. And keep on bracing those abs. All right, listen carefully. Two bottom halves, here we go. One, and two and rise up. And again. Here I go again. Woo! All right, so if two bottom halves isn't enough, Let's go for four button halves. Go. Four. Three. Two. All the way up. And again. Four button halves. Oh, I really think I feel my legs shaking right now. So it's going to be fun. All right, watch this. All the way up. And release those legs. Release those legs. I wasn't even thinking about giving you breaks, but now I need them. All right. A little bit wider. Super slow down. Super slow down. Oh, good luck. I'm talking to myself this time. Three and one. Three, two, one, rise up. Keep it going. All the way down. And up strong. Keep on going. Three, two, one, rise up. Oh, yes. Sing off. Hit it. Round number two out of four. Don't tell me. I, don't, <laughs> don't tell me I didn't warn you. Keep on going. Eight more. Oh, yes. Four more. Oh, yes. Two more. All right. After this last one, a short break as well. Shake those legs off. The whole thing. All right. Your feet, just a regular position again. Super slow. Two more rounds to go, but the last two rounds are relatively long. They're exactly the same. So this round is exactly the same as the last round. Three and one. Three, two, one, and keep on going. All the way down. Uh, like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. Oh, yes. Ready, set. Hit it now. Go. Woo oh, yes. Yep, keep on going, keep on going. Eight more. The deeper the better. Four more. Three. Two. Listen carefully. Two and two. Here we go. Everybody shake your body. We don't feel we chill. That's like 
hardly even possible. So, everybody shake your body, don't do it. If I say everybody, I mean nobody. Hi. Two bottom halves. Shake your body. Now, make it to shake your booty. That'll work. Kind of. Not really. Hi. Listen carefully. Four bottom halves. Four. Three. Two. Then the last one and the next ten. One more time. Hi. You know you're gonna do this round again, huh? So shake it off. Shake it off. Oh. Woo. So. Feet where you ever your strongest. Three and one. Three. Two. One. And reach. Ready, set, single, go! The very last round. Make it deep, make it strong, and challenge yourself. That's what I will ask you every class, because that's necessary to become stronger. Eight more. Oh, yes. Keep on going, keep on going. But I made up my mind. Two and two. Everybody shake your body. We don't feel we chill at all. The very last part. Only 30 seconds to go in this track. Well, a little more. Now it's about 30 seconds. Yeah. Ready, second. Two times down. Down. Shake your body. I always forget that you can see how long you still got to go with the timer in the corner. Which is custom made for me. Hi. Four bottom halves. Four. Not for me, for Let's Move Fitness. You can see with the little arrow. It's for me. Two more. The very last one. All the way up. Oh, Get rid of the barbell. Oh. And I start with the chest. We're going to have five rounds, which sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. But it's a Really cool tracks, so don't worry. We're gonna have some push-ups in the end. Not a lot, well, <laughs> after the bottle, everything is a lot. So take weight of the bottle, so about one third of the weight off, and make sure, just lay down, lie down, and put the bottle nice and wide in your hands. The wider you are, the more chest you can activate. So lie down, hands wide, wrists are straight, and let's go down in two. Down, down, and slowly rise. Keep it going. Elbows out. Yes. So, wrists are straight. Belly button in, so brace those abs so you don't arch your back too much. Watch this. Super slow down. So, it's four, three, two, one, and super slow rise. Let's do it again. So, all the way down. Super slow. I'm sorry, uh, Buddha. I touched Buddha. I promised I wouldn't touch him again. I still touched him. Sorry. Three and one. Three, two, one. Rise up. Keep it going. Woo! And again. So it's three, two, one. Rise up. And again. Let's do this two more times. Down, down, down. Rise up. Let's do it one more time. And after this one, let's proceed with some singles. Hit it. Down and rise. Even with singles, you want to keep it a fluent motion. So it's down and up instead of not like this. Never like this. So it's down and up. All right, we're going to have triples down. So all the way down, triple down. So triple bottom half. Three bottom halves. One, two, three, extend, and let's do it again. So it's one, two, three, and extend, and let's do it one more time. And after this one, let's go down super slow. Four, so it's four, three. Two, one, and super slow, r -r 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 rise up again, and again, super slow down, all the way. If it becomes a little bit tougher, that's exactly where it should be. It should hurt just a little by now. Three on one, three, two, one. Just to make this track a little bit easier, you have two really short breaks, but those breaks are too short to really sit up straight after this. So after your roll, when I tell you this, you're gonna have a break, just put the bottle on your, well, hopefully your knees or your chest or whatever. I'm gonna show you in a second, but first, singles go! So those breaks are not necessarily breaks, but just so you can shake it off and relax. Well, that is exactly what a break is. So yes, a break. So, Let's carefully onto your knees or anywhere else and 
just release your hands. Ah. Because the people who did this class this morning said it was necessary. Hands out and three and one. Here we go. Two more rounds to go before we're gonna hit the push ups. Yes. Keep on going. So it's three, two, one. Rise up and again. Let's do it again. So it's three, two, one. Rise up. Ready, set, single, go. Woo! Yes, down and rise. Never go without. Perfect. After this one, we gotta have a triple down. Down. So it's one, two, three, and a set. One more time. One more time. Three more times. Let's do it two more times. All right, and listen carefully. After this one, after this one, onto your knees again. So relax. Just for a second. Just for a second. We're gonna have one more round to go, and then we're still gonna have to push it. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, not sorry. Okay, let's go down. Three and one. Three, two, one, and up. I've been gone so long that it is necessary to make it a little bit tougher in some tracks. But I told you that before. You knew what you were gonna do. You knew what you started. Let's do it two more times. And after those two, only eight singles. And then we're gonna have the transition to the push-ups. Ready, set, here we go. Woo! So it's gonna be four more of these. Three, two more. And this is gonna be the very last one. And after this last one, get rid of the barbell and sit up. So, push the position. Hands and knees or hands and toes. Let's go down for your three. Three, two, one, and rise up. Three, two, one, and rise up. Let's do it again. I'm pretty sure you can't see me fully, so I'll just turn to the side. So still, three, two, one, and rise. Let's do it again. Ready, set, singles, go! So down and up, never go without. Woo! All right, these are still eight to go. Get <laughs> going. Watermelon sugar. Woo, four more. Three. Two. The very last one. And relax. Yeah, if you do it twice, it really feels like you're doing it twice. Good. So we're going to proceed with the back. Back is a bigger, a bigger problem, I was going to say. A bigger muscle group. And a bigger problem, maybe. A bigger muscle group, so you might want to add some weights on the bubble. I'm not gonna do that today because my wrist really still hurts, especially while I transition from the upright row to the top. But if you want to, if you can, if you normally do it, take more weights on that barbell. You are able to do it. We have cleaner presses with single rows and power presses with triple rows. Only at the end, we're gonna have some wide rows. But first, underhand grip. So the reverse grip. Let's first start with a single row. Knees and squeeze. Perfect. Knees, squeeze, and take it in. Go. Perfect. And again. Okay. Triple row. One. Two. Three. One more time. Three times a row. Two. Last one. All right. Get rid of the barbell, put it down. Release the hands, release your shoulders, release your lower back if it's necessary. You're only gonna get one break, but it's gonna be a long break. I think it's gonna be okay for you. Regular position, three and one, three, two, one. So your hands are in a normal grip. Let's do it one more time, and after this one, right away, single clean press with single row. Here we go, onto your chest. And then down to the knees and squeeze. Here we go. Let's do it again. Onto your chest. And then down to the knees and squeeze. Yes, perfect. Let's do it again. Onto your chest. Woo! Two more. Beautiful life. Thank you so much. One more. All right, after this one, let's just go on two and two towards the knees. Here we go. Oh, drop it down, down low. Keep on going. Let's do it three more times. After three of these, we're gonna go for the first 
time of a power press in a triple row. So after the last one, we're gonna have three times up and three times down. Ready, set, go! One, two, three, and now a triple row, down for three. One, two, three. Let's do it again. Triple to the top, now. One, two, three, and down, down, down. One, two, three. Okay, let's go down in two, right again. Yes. Last round before we're gonna hit the break. Not the break, we're gonna hit a break. Not the break. Never hit the break. Not during my class. Not before the cooling down. Three more of these. Two more of these. Same as we did before. So after this one. Power press. Go! One. Bend your legs and push your glutes to the back. Triple row. One. Two. Three. Power press. One. Two. Three. And three times down. One. Two. Three. Rise up and get rid of the bottle. It's a long break, so if you want to... Uh, Drink something, do something else. Wanna app somebody? That's, no, no, that's, that's too long. Don't do it. So, if you're ready, grab your bottle for the last round. Let's go down super slow, all the way down. So it's four, three, two, let's go up in three. So it's one, two, three, super slow. So it's four, three, two, one, super slow. All right, ready? Set the single clean, press the single row, now. Down, knees and squeeze. Perfect. Let's do it again. Onto your chest, push it up, and down. Let's do it two more times. You can do this. Bend, push, drag it in, come down. Let's do it one more time. Woo! After this one, only a single row. So knees and squeeze. Ah, perfect. Two more. All right, after this last one, let's proceed with the power press. Three times in the air, now. One, two, three, and three times down. One, two, three, let's do it again. Three times up. One, two, three, and three times down. Listen carefully, we're gonna go on with the wide rows. So hands are nice and wide, triple row. Knees and ribs, knees and ribs. Push your elbows out, keep your back as long and straight as possible. Don't arch it too much, ah, just keep it straight. All right, let's do twice more, a little bit more fluid. I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself as well. It was a little bit too fast. One more time, the last triple row of this track. And I think you can feel where this is going. Seven times two, seven. But this is gonna be the last one though, the very last rows of today. Three more, two more. Last one, slowly rise and relax. Okay, don't change the weight on the barbell. You can change the weight on the barbell, but then change it into the biceps weight because we're not gonna use the barbell for the triceps. For the triceps, we're gonna use, hopefully, a bigger weight than you would normally take for the shoulders. So you need a big weight, one big loose weight or hand weight. And we're first gonna start dipping we're first gonna start with a triceps dip, then we're gonna proceed with the triceps kickback with a bigger weight, and then we're gonna have the overhead extension with one or two plates or weights. Yes? So, let's first start to dip. I need this because otherwise I just can't do it. Okay, let's first start super slow down. The further your feet are away, the harder it is, but you know this. Two and two, you know what today is? Today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna throw it back to you. Hell yes! By now you should somehow realize what you Keep your elbows nice and close together. And keep your shoulders away from the ears if you can. Only four more of these. Again, if it's too hard, rather do this 
So put them really close to your body if you can't do it otherwise. Everything is better than this. I see this happening in my class all the time, so don't. Don't. All right, first, super slow down. So all the way down, super slow. Yes, and if we're going down super slow, let's go up super slow as well. Let's do it again, so super slow down if you can. I know that you can, so keep on going. All right, three and one. Because three, two, one. And again, if it's too easy, just take your feet away a little further. And if that is still too easy, you can always increase your own weight, yeah? But like this, not like really increase your weight. Singles. Don't increase your weight to become stronger. Increase the weight like this to become stronger. Four more. Three. Two. The very last one. Okay, relax. Get rid of that place. Well, not the place. Grab one weight. It doesn't matter which side. Ah. And extend it two and two. Keep your elbows. Or keep your elbow as still as possible. Okay. Super slow. All the way. And all the roads we have to walk are winding. Ah, super slow down. And all the lights. People said it was too easy, so I made it a little bit tougher just by changing the choreo a little bit. Would like to say the ah. but I don't know how. So let's go on with an up and hold. But really hold it up for one time and then all the way down. So really up and hold. Up, hold, and now down. Maybe you feel it a little bit better then. Let's do it one more time. After this one, let's go up. Triple pulls up. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's do it three more times and that's it for this arm. And then we're gonna hit the other arm right after. Last one. Okay, chain side, chain side, chain side, chain side. If you're ready, two and two. By now you should have somehow realized what you got to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Super slow. And all the roads that lead you there were winding. The reason that we're doing this and no bother is actually relatively selfish because I really can't do any skull crushes right now after I broke my wrist so far. So, three and one. So I'm taking you along with my ride with no skull crushes. Some people might be happy, some people might hate me, but a lot of people already hated me, so I'm fine with that. You ready? Two ripple pulls all the way up. One, two, three and all the way down. One, two, three, and all the way down. Let's do it two more times. Okay, you're gonna have a choice. You can either stand up or sit down, but grab one or two plates. Then, over your head, two and two. Over your head, that's exactly why they call it the overhead extensions, but you got that. I'm pretty sure you know this. Super slow, all the way down. And all the roads that lead you there were winding. Super slow, rise up. And keep your elbows closer to your head now. Super slow down. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know why. Okay, just a little quicker. Three and one. Three, two, one. Exactly the same, except for this last round has a little dessert at the end. A little something extra, just for you to enjoy. First, eight singles. Here we go. The closer the elbows are to your head, the better it is. So keep on going, keep on going. Come on down, come on up. Woo! All right, let's get a play. Two and two till the end. Down, down and slowly rise. You can do this. Down all the way and rise all the way. Let's do it two more times. Yes, and this is going to be the very, 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 very last one. So keep it nice and close together. Push it up and relax. Oh. If you still need to change the weights on the bubble, do that right now. I already got that fixed. <sighs> yes. We are gonna have a relatively long break in between, so don't worry about it too much. It's not the longest trick, but it's not the easiest either. And because some people did find it easy, I made sure that the last part is relatively hard, so you can actually still really feel it at the moment that like three quarters of the way you think like, ah, that's easy. The last part is relatively hard. Okay, it's a cool, it's a cool trick. At least I think it's cool, a lot of people think it's cool. So enjoy it. Shoulders down, let's go up in two. Here we go. So up, up and slowly down. Slowly rise and down. Whew. This is probably gonna be the worst for me because doing biceps one time is tough, 
doing the biceps track twice. Well, I'm gonna find out in a second. I'm gonna share with you how it feels to, to do bi two biceps tracks in 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. Let's do it again. Super slow rise, all the way up. Super slow. Four, three, two, one, and slowly down. All right. Let's go up for three. Three and one. So it's three, oh, two, one, and back. All right, we're going to have a um, combination, but we're going to only use it four times today. Twice in the course of the first and the second round. So let's do it two more times. It is killing me. Let's do it one more time and then watch this. Combination, two bottom halves and one single. So it's one, two and single. Two fast, bottom half, and a single. Hey, right. only single. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Keep going. My loneliness is killing me. Let's take carefully. Three and one. Here we go. Three, two, one, and back. Keep on going. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Let's do it too much times now. My loneliness is killing me. Let's keep on going. Listen carefully. Two bottom halves. Go! One single. Roll with time. All right. Let's go. For eight singles. Here we go. Eight singles. Hey, if you're worried that it's uh, too tough, don't worry. You're gonna give it a break in a second, not even too long from now. And if you don't need that break, bad luck. You're gonna get it anyway. Two and two. Ah, up and two. And slow you down. Only three more of these and then you're gonna hit your break. Not take your break, take your break. You're gonna get your break. Two more. Yes, and this is gonna be the last one before the break. Enjoy the break or be uh, mad at me for your break. Whatever fits best, take it out. Take it out. Relax. All right. We're gonna have, have only one more round to go. With a little uh, challenge at the end. All right, three and one. Here we go. So three, two, one. Especially now, two things are important. Keep your elbows in one spot. And second of all, don't take the bubble all the way up. So keep some distance between your bubble and your chest. But you notice know because I tell you this every time. Ready, set, single go! It is killing me. The biceps is killing me. That's what it's doing. Keep on going. Up and down. Okay, listen carefully. We only are gonna have some bottom halves. Halfway up and down. And especially now, look at your elbows because otherwise you might do this or even worse, do this. Do this. Just keep your elbows in one spot. If you have a mirror, check out yourself. Listen carefully. Top half, now. Top half. Top half, and again, watch your elbows. Keep them in one spot. Yes. Four more. And you gotta get one, one, one little challenge after. A really tiny challenge. All the way down, up quick, down slow. Up quick, down slow. That's it, that's it, that's it. All right, for the lunges, for the lunges, which I'm gonna do for the second time, all right, for the lunges, we're first gonna start without the barbell at all. Make sure that there's some space behind you, but we are gonna use the barbell at the end. If you want to use more weights on the barbell, that's fine, but maybe the first time that you're gonna do this, try it with the bicep twitch, because it is relatively hard. It is pretty hard. A lot of lunges with the barbell, but first we're gonna start with some squats and some lunges without the barbell, so make sure that behind you, there's nothing that you can trip on. Okay, let's first start with just two and two squats. And then your right leg steps back into the lunge, step down and together. Two and two, and this time we're gonna do the left side. So now we don't have a barbell, we always alternate. And again. Listen carefully, we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of two and two, we're gonna do two singles, both. So two singles here. And two singles with the right leg. So, lunge, step together, lunge and squat. Two singles. Two singles. 
here. Two squats. Two singles with the right leg. And two singles. Here we go. Yep. Left leg. Here we go. But listen carefully. We are going to have 15 bottom halves. 15, 15, 14, 13. You're going to have these later on in the lunges as well. You're going to hate me for this, but it's going to feel good. Listen carefully. Four bottom halves. Now. And then the right leg steps back twice. And listen carefully. Come back in a squat. Now squat. Four bottom half. Four. Three. Two. Two single. And come back down. Yep. Four bottom half. Four. Three. The right leg steps back. One. Two. Last one. Woo! Oh! <laughs> oh, shake it up and grab the ball if you still dare to because I really do get it if you don't want to use the ball right now because it's going to hurt even more. Right foot back, left foot front. Let's go down, super slow. Your arms are my castle, your heart is my sky. They wipe away tears that I cry. Three and one. Three, two, one, rise up. Keep it going. Oh, okay, the first round of singles, take them relatively easy. Yes, ready, set, singles go. And if I say something like that, you know it's going to be serious business. I pretty much hope so. Okay, listen carefully. After this one, two bottom halves, slowly and strong. One, two, and rise up. And again, one, two, and rise up. Two more times. Listen carefully. Two and two. Alright, after this one, you know what we did with the squats before, and I warned you already, but we're gonna do it later on again. This is the time. 15 bottom halves. Now, 15, 14, keep on going. As low and as strong and as deep as you can go. Oh, feel the legs working. And this is not it by far. We're gonna go a little step further, a big step further. Singles, go! Rock. Deep and up, keep going. Woo! Uh. Hey, four bottom half, slowly. Three, two, last one, rise up and let's do it one more time. Perfect. Last one, extend, step together and relax. Shake those arms, or shake those legs off. Uh, make sure everything is loosened up because the second round is going to hurt even more. But maybe now you accept it. Left foot back, super slow down. Your arms are my castle, your heart is my sky. They wipe away tears that I cry. Three and one. Keep going. I just have to do it. Every time I hear this song, I have to do it. It's a rule. I can't help it. Three. Two, one, rise up. All right, let's first start with easy singles. Here we go. Woo. So drop your down low and keep on going. I know you can do it. So push your knee to the ground. Listen carefully. Two bottom halves, nice and strong. One and two. This is a traumatic moment because this was the moment that I realized my microphone wasn't on with the last track I did. Hey, listen carefully. Two and two, all the way down. 50 seconds to go. 50 seconds of pain in your legs. The longest 50 seconds of your day because you're gonna feel those legs. Just a little bit worse than before. 15 bottom halves. 15, 14, 13. Keep on going. You can do this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and ten. Single, go! Oh, if this doesn't hurt, all the way down to your core, to your bones. I don't know what to do next. Four bottom halves. And then one more time. Deeper, stronger, and step together. Oh yes. All right, for the shoulders, you still want to use about the same weight 
at the end. But we're first going to do some push-ups, not a lot. Only, I think, six of them. Let's do first two push-ups and then two and two. So first, some push-up. Then we're going to use those two free weights or hand weights. Then we're going to proceed right away after that with the abs. Try to keep one or two weights together, about five kilograms for the abs. Not now, for the abs. Yes? So we're first going to do some push-ups. Then we're going to use the free weights for a long time. Then at the end, we're going to hit the barbell. So listen carefully. Let's first start in the push-up position. And down is super slow. Super slow rise. I use these uh, dumbbells right now because, again, my left wrist is still not too, uh, well, not recovered. Let's put it that way. Two more times. Super slow rise. Let's do it one more time. Super slow. Three and one. Three, two, one. Rise up. Let's do it again. You know what? Let's do one bonus push up. One bonus push up. Then right away onto one knee. Take your body forward. Close down. Singles to the side. This is what we call a rear deltoid race. The cool thing about a rear deltoid race is it doesn't really interfere with any of the other shoulder exercises that we're going to do in this track. So this is relatively easy. Triple up. So, top half. We need to do this because otherwise this one is way too easy anyway. Two more of these. Let's do it one more time. Okay, listen carefully. Stand up straight. Side raises, two singles. And then a two and two front raise. Here we go. Front raise. Yep. Two singles to the side. Keep on going. Two and two to the front. Oh yes. Two singles to the side. One. Two. Two and two to the front. Yes. Keep on going. One. Two, two and two to the front. Let's do it two more times. That's it. Keep it going. Keep your body as still as possible, especially with the front raise. Keep it going. The very last one of this one. So two times to the side. At one time, two and two to the front. Okay, listen carefully. Big shoulder roll. So release the shoulders. Because now the fun is going to start. I know when I say this, you're not happy. Upper two, side raise. Then rotator. Down. And slowly down. Oh, this is going to be such a long track as well for you. If you already feel this, which you should, this is going to be so much fun. Yes. I said fun. Because you know the results last for longer than just these five minutes. They last for a way longer time. Listen carefully. Twice as fast. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Woo! All right. We're going to do the same combination with a pec deck fly. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Set. Rotate a race. And then two pec decks. So that's one, two, then all the way down. And again. Rise. Up. One. Two. It doesn't really matter where the weights go as long as the elbows are close together. Then you did a good job. Then you are doing a good job. Yep. Keep it going. Get some good news. Do I have good news? Yeah, I've got good news. We're only going to do the same combination two more times. One. Two, and then all the way down. Let's do it one more time. Up and right. Twice. One. Two, all the way down. Oh, and relax, 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 relax. Oh, grab the barbell if you need it. You can stay with the hand weights as well if you want to. Super slow rise. So it's four, three, two, one. You are you unnearly there? Just a little faster. Let's go up in three, three and one. Three, two, one. Relax. Two more. Last one. Listen carefully. We're gonna have a triple pull up. One, two, three. We're gonna combine these after a while with some single presses up. So listen carefully. After this one, onto your chest. Three presses. So number one, number two, number three, then all the way down for the triple pulses. Triple pulses, upper right row. One, two, three, and another one, so two of these. And then we're gonna have a triple press onto your chest. Triple. One, two, three, come down. And a triple pulse up. Here we go. One, two, three. And again. On 
to your chest. Sing off. All the way down. Triple pulse. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's do it one more time. Listen carefully onto your chest and then two and two till the end. So it's up, up, slowly down and keep on going. Two to go if you can't do it. Let's do it one more time. Listen carefully. Up quick and hold. Ah. Oh. Onto your back. Let's proceed with the abs. So last track that you really have to work. Grab one plate. This one, one. lay down. Ah. Whew. So let's go up for singles. So we're going to sit up, straight down. Up and down. That's it. For now, that's it. We're going to have twice the same round. Now we're going to have a plank in the end. Are you ready? Let's do a triple pulse up. So it's one, two, three, and all the way down. One, two, three. Two more times. Okay, listen carefully. Take your legs up in the air and extend the right leg. Take the arms back. If this is too much, don't worry. Either do it without a weight or don't extend it too much. If this is too hard for your lower back, you might want to extend your leg a little bit less or just keep it bent. That's the same thing, I know. You can extend a little bit higher as well. So don't extend all the way down to the floor. It's fine too. Yes, keep on going. Okay. And all the way back. Let's do it again. Listen carefully. We're going to do the same thing, but then twice as fast. Now, number one, number two, and then a triple pulse all the way up without the legs. So it's one, two, three. And again, first the legs with the arm. And then a triple pulse to the ceiling. One, two, three. Singles, right, left. Triples to the top. One, two, three. Three. Singles. Triples to the top. All right. Feet pressed into the floor again. Singles towards the top. Here we go. Up. All right. Don't go here. Don't go here. This is too easy. This is like even easier than without the weight. So let's go straight up, straight down. So you want to pick one part at the ceiling, one spot at the ceiling, and aim for that. Straight up. Triple up. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. Okay. Listen carefully. Legs up in the air and let's do it. Start two, two, and back. Yeah, so slower than before again. Well, as slow as we did in the first round because I told you we were going to do the same round twice. This is the second round of this round. <laughs> Which should have made sense, I hope. The longer the arms and the longer the legs, the more your abs have to work. But you figured that one out. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's do it one more time. And after this one, let's do it twice as fast and then add the triple pull. Now, one, two, triple pulls up. One, two, three. Right left. Triple pulls up. Let's do it two more times. Triple pulse. All right. One more time. Here we go. Triple pulse. All right. After this one, get rid of the plate or the weight, and then let's go for a plank. Just a regular plank. Just a regular plank. Yep. All right. So your hip down. Your feet just a little bit wider than you would normally do. Then we're going to extend the arms. First right arm. Two and two. So extend for two. One. And drag it back in two, and then the other side. So out, out, and back. And then the other side again. So out, out, and back. And again. Out, and back. And again. One, two, and one, and two. Two more. And it's gonna be the last one. Keep your hip as still as possible. There's some good news. You're not there. Keep the plank, stay here. Keep your hip down, keep your shoulders on top of the elbows or just a little bit to the front. And if you want to make it just a little bit more of a challenge, take your body even more to the front. Further, 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 onto the tippy toes of your toes, or the edge of the toes, stay there, stay there, and relax. 
So, onto your back to release everything that we just made stronger. Oh, yes. Oh, I hope this was as tough for you as it was for me, because it's exactly what I wanted for this release. Your knees fall to the right side and release your lower back. If you want to release it more, ah, take your upper leg just over and push it down to the floor. Then you might feel it better. All right. Knees to the middle. Drag your right knee towards your chest and release your ankle. And switch to the other side. Switch to the other side, I mean turn to the other side, so stay with the right leg. All right, extend your right leg to the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out, and drag your leg in just a little further. Stay there. Perfect. Right foot on top of the left knee, and drag the left leg in. Such a beautiful track. The origin already, but this remix, perfect. Una matina. Feet flat to the floor, drag your knees to the left side. So release your lower back on the other side as well. Ah. Knees back to the middle, drag in the left knee. Release the foot, release the ankle. And to the other side. and extend the left leg. Breathe in, breathe out, and drag it further. Left foot on top of the right knee. Drag the right leg in, and feel the glutes. Onto your hands and knees. Chest pose. So knees are relatively wide apart. Push your hip down and back. And press your chest towards the floor. Okay. Open up your chest. Right foot to the front. And with a little bit of passion, right foot to the front and left arm up. Up, over, back, and press the hip forward. Chain sides, left foot to the front, right arm up. Drop it, take it over and back, and push it further. Perfect. In one fluent motion, try this. In one fluent motion, grab the, uh, grab the right foot with your right arm. So easy, so easy. Drag it in and push the hip forward. The longer the body, the more stretch you will feel. Chase that. Drag it. Yes. Lengthen the right arm, take it to the front, and push that. Drop the shoulders, take it out. Yes. Do the same on the other side. I want to really pull this, release your legs, release your arms, and for all of you staying all the way to the end and waiting so long for this release to finally be here, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a great day, have a great body, because this is what happens when you do this more often. And I want to see you next time again, obviously as well. Uh, make sure to uh, to watch the uh, well. I'm gonna upload that in about like uh, let's say four or five, six days. The making of not only this video, but also the making of, you know, like the entire class and how I do it and how I mix it, etc., etc. That will be online within a week. Hope you have a great day. I want to see you next time again. Bye-bye.